your mark, get set, go! He shot his hair off. That, that, that guy shot his wig off. That's horrifying. And he's still alive. And he appears to be giggling. You all set, robot? Okay. And go. Five, four, three, two, one. Year 2000. The year 2000. Oh, wait a minute, folks. Something's gone very wrong. Something's very wrong. with the sketch now. <laughs> What's better than that? <laughs> Forget the rest of the sketch. <laughs> Thank you, robot on a toilet. <laughs> There's a lot of upset children out yeah. there. Yeah. Mommy, what happened? What happened? All right, we're going to take a little break right now. What are you doing just standing there? Are you going to stand there the rest of the show? <laughs> He's creeping me out. All right, well, we're going to take a little break right now. Uh, that sound means it's our phone round. Let's check in with our caller. Yeah? Hello? Hey, it's the boss, everybody. You want to say something about Max, Bruce? Yeah, we're Okay. Uh To get everyone in the Oscar mood, I gave out Hollywood Walk of Fame stars. Here's the one I gave to Joel. Huh? Oh, I should be looking through these. Oh, here's the one I gave to Joel. We got a little technical problem here. Oh, we were doing so well. <laughs> this will kill everything. <laughs> they got it figured out yet? Oh, well. <laughs> So I have to... Pick it off! Yeah, I'll pick it off when we're on Showtime. What? Wait, wait, wait. All right, folks.
once we're having some kind of technical difficulty. <laughs> this happens once every nine years. <laughs> you want to do a you want to do a, a commercial lead-in right now? Okay. Well, Pam Pamel, do you know any other instruments? <laughs> we'll just get a shot of Jerry Vivino down there. <laughs> Did you drop something, uh, Jerry, or is there something you and La Bamba want to tell us? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Conan, Conan, stop. God? Yes, my child. You don't. <laughs> You've been drinking, God? Yeah. <laughs> that, the peppermint schnapps went right yeah, to my divine Yeah, sure head. it did, yeah. <laughs> Let's try and get back to the sketch, yeah. God. Sort of. What do you want, God? Uh, sure, you can inspect subterranean levels. Uh, you just need a few weeks to uh, swiffer the floors. Okay, that, <laughs> that sounds great. We'll be there. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. What do you expect from the most gracious host Your on script's Earth? getting in the way, Saddam Hussein. What? <laughs> <laughs> just watch it there. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I promise oh. you, I promise you, I promise you something. Yeah, how, how can, we, how can we believe you if you're going to read from a script? It's that's only terrible. a script. It's not, it's not a weapon. It's a script. Okay, that's fine. All right. NBC is so closely tied with Universal Pictures. Late Night is introducing a uh, new feature where Max Weinberg shoots and kills one movie a night from a competing movie studio. Tonight's movie for Max to kill is 20th Century Fox's 1998 release, Hope Floats. Let's get it out here. <laughs> to put a top on that box? <laughs> Don't you think that hurts the illusion just a little bit? <laughs> that there's an actor in there laughing his ass off? <laughs> Our next character is the terror of the home improvement stores. It's the carpet sample man was never meant to see. I'll see him sort of drop out of frame there. <laughs> Our last new character. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. We've been very critical of the federal government's response to the crisis. Mm -hmm. Damn right I'm critical. Yeah. We needed them down there fast. Were they fast? No. They moved like rich goo and molasses. <laughs> Slowly dripping down. Taking their sweet, chewy time. <laughs> Tempting you, teasing you. Dangling over your open mouth. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Sharpton. Reverend you. Sharpton. What? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm clearing the page of my script. All right, that's good. Well, thank you. <laughs> Reverend that's Sharpton, good everybody. That's good female. Oh, yeah. How he does that without using his hands stuns me. Our next character proves that even inanimate objects can have irrational fears. Please welcome Klosty, the claustrophobic coffee mug. 
Hey, thanks for uh, driving me off, lady. Uh, maybe a nice cup of coffee would be good now, huh? Fill me up with coffee. No, don't put me in the cupboard. Don't put me in the cupboard. No, you sadistic bitch. I can't breathe in here. You're killing me. You're killing me. I gotta get out. I didn't see any stick tied to the mug. <laughs> Who thought of that special effect? <laughs> what are we gonna do? I know, we'll tie a stick to it and run it through a hole. Those people on TV will never suspect the thing. <laughs> That's the crappiest thing I've seen. <laughs> television in a long time. I'm serious. Give me that. Bring me that. Bring me that mug. Bring me that stick. Look at that. I'm sending this to the Museum of Broadcasting. You don't see this every... Look, it's levitating. How's Conan doing it? Don't pay attention to this part. We're all resigning after this one. I think what you're doing is you're talking about the movie you're in. No, I'm not. How dare you trivialize our love? Woo! All right, getting married to Kathy Loman. Woo! Woo! Okay, Woo! I don't even know what, what the, the hell, hell happened there. <laughs> that would be, I think, some kind of glitch on our part. Or you're I having know a about major those glitches, but I'm telling you, man, <laughs> I am real. This is the real thing. This is any kind of gay weird thing. This is no La Bamba stuff here, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no La Bamba stuff. All right. Max, I'm sorry. I tell you what, Mrs. Weinberg, since you're having such a tough time, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give you tickets. Ooh. I hate this show. <laughs> Man, that's some house you bought for your mom, Max. Thanks, Conan. One wall and a freaking door that won't open. <laughs> uh, poor Lee. Oh. oh, man. I have rarely been happier. <laughs> Arnold, calm down. calm down. Arnold, calm down. Your scar is falling off. Mm. Uh, now, Arnold, I, uh... It's delicious. Yeah, Arnold... You're not man enough to enjoy your scars! Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, no. I don't ever want it to heal! All right, okay. <laughs> Our next mascot symbolizes the struggle of modern democracy with the demands of a changing world. Please welcome the Georgetown University Constipated Washington Monument. <laughs> at rehearsal and they'd say and they said don't worry we'll fix it uh, uh crocodile hunter and host of the show new breed your thumb is covering <laughs> what is it oh new breed vets <laughs> the hell was come here come here let me see that come here really come, 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 what what's that oh you don't want to show it because you messed up more than what oh is he even from the australia zoo <laughs> he is 
You got his name right. What else did you screw up? Oh, what? Ever, what's wrong with you people? Oh, I see what went wrong. Musical guest, musical guest. Now, wait a minute. What's going on? What's going on? First, it's you. Go stand with Vivino over here. Stand in the, have some candy with Vivino. What is wrong with you people? I'm gone one day and the whole place goes down the toilet. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Well, why would you eat cat food? On well, what you <laughs> 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 uh. That's right, at, re at rehearsal, at rehearsal you pretended to eat it, yeah. Uh. <laughs> if only we could afford editing. So, Joel, why would you eat cat food? On well, what you pay me, I'm lucky not I'm... What? <laughs> On Look at the night. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get back. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Guys, you know things rarely go wrong on this show, but I have to. And my monitor right now is on like a different channel right now. <laughs> Look at this. Can we get a shot? Is there any way to get a shot of what my monitor is showing me right now? It's supposed to be showing me sitting behind the desk, and look what it's showing instead. That's what it's showing. <laughs> And for a second, I thought, is that what I look like tonight? Am I really that hungover? Can we fix that in any way? It's very hard to get a TV set to work here in a television studio. Any luck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we did it, folks. <laughs> this, of course, doesn't work right here. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three, test. It does work. Very good. It's amazing. It's made of chocolate. You wouldn't think it would. Well, Kona, maybe this is a vision of what La Bamba's ghost will look like someday. Oh, that was well read. <laughs> well, maybe, it's, maybe it's a relative who looks like La Bamba. Why don't you do that line again uh, there, Jimmy? <laughs> Go again, Jimmy. Hit the drums, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe it's a relative that looks like him. Hey, Johnny G, the guy who thinks Max Weinberg is hilarious. <laughs> You, 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 you can go now, Johnny G. <laughs> Not so cool when you can't find the curtain, is it, Johnny G? Myself. Uh, <laughs> do you think you have enough pictures of Conan O'Brien by now? <laughs> That's a guy that wandered down from the seats. All right. Seriously, I think you're done. Okay. All right. You want one more? Get over here. Get over here. One more picture of Conan. Come on, come on over. Get one more right here. You've never. There's... I think we have enough photos of me sitting behind a desk after 12 years. All right, thank you. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Nora, the piano playing cat. Hit it, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't look like that at rehearsal, did it? <laughs> yeah. Don't lift those too high, Nora, okay? There's some steel rods under your armpits. Hey, Nora, how about classical music? Do you classical, Nora? Let's hear some classical.
Nora's a very shy performer. She plays. Oh, that looked like crap. Is anyone else having a hard time coping without Max? Any yes, I am. I came here to throw a brick at Max, and I'm very disappointed. Well, I'm sorry, Max. Max just isn't here, ma'am. My suggestion would be for you to direct your anger elsewhere. You're right. Mm. <laughs> Two things. Shouldn't we have had a sound effect with that? That's one. And second... He can't squeeze the brick. <laughs> you have superpowers. All right. Uh... Okay, draw, draw straws for what? Just draw straws. Yeah, I, I know. Who's drawing the straws and for what? Draw straws. <laughs> Why? Because I put every penny I have into straws. I'm ruined. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How are you going to you gonna walk away from that joke now? <laughs> Where are you going? He's going to walk away? Yeah. All right. I like watching him walk away. There was no clean way out of that one. <laughs> well, you always have a job here if you get in trouble. If this gets you in trouble, you can have any, you can be in the band with any of these guys. Or... <laughs> Half of them don't read music anyway. Look at La Bamba. <laughs> Look at La Bamba. La Bamba. <laughs> that was beautiful. We, we caught La Bamba holding sheet music up to Jimmy saying, what is this stuff? <laughs> what do these mean? I just blow and suck. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on. <sighs> you can have his job. <laughs> Start now. Um, well, we think the Andrews sisters and their famous song could still work the same magic 60 years later. Here they are, the Andrews sisters. This last book has no pictures whatsoever. It could be the Bible or a chemistry textbook, for all I know. I like how heavy the book is, and it feels very smooth on my face. Good, okay, we're good. Could anyone else see the tape holding his beard on? <laughs> wow, that looked crappy. There's like tape holding his beard on. I've never seen that before on professional television. That'll tell you something. 